What was life like when you went on tour with Lady Gaga and now you're a, a, a road musician as opposed to um, a club musician? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was amazing, especially being able to tour with Tony Bennett as well. You know, it was it was a double it was a double uh, double whammy. You know, it was it was just we were just so happy to be there and we was want we were willing to do anything to make it great. You know what I mean? And, and we wanted to stay there. And I think that's and I think the takeaway from this, too, is that, you know, friendship is great. And like you said, Dylan, that's how we that's how we came up. And you know what I mean? And we were friends to first. And that's a great way to do it. But you also have to we, we also had to not suck. You know what I mean? So it was like she gave us the opportunities. We had to come hard. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like it, it, there was no it, it, it's it's like anything. Someone has to help you to get that big break. Nobody gets there on their own. You know what I mean? Right. It's not like all of a sudden, unless you're like a solo YouTube star who just makes like amazing songs on the piano and puts it up, which is doable, you know, but like, I feel like back then it was like you, I, I don't know. It's, I think it's still the same. You still need some help from somebody to, to push you up to the when next she, level. When she basically said to you, Brian, can you bring in your band? We want to see what you can do for us. Was that the moment that you feel, felt like you became the adult in the room or was, what was the moment for you where you were like, oh, I am, I'm an adult. I am in charge here. I've got a lot of, you know, I, like, what was that for you? I mean, I don't know. I don't think I ever feel like that, Dylan. I, I don't, I feel, I just, I feel like that I'm, I'm, I'm always there to facilitate and make, make her sound as, as amazing as she does to, to add to that and, and make it perfect. You know what I mean? Like just right. to make it authentic and you know uh, and i hate the word organic but but uh you know and also like, have some fun yeah and and ha and, and have fun because if we're having fun you know what i mean it's like it's like there's one number in the in that we do together in in the in the vegas show where the orchestra stops and then all of a sudden it's me and her singing just a gigolo together you know what i mean so it's like it's like those kind of moments that it's just me and her and the quinn the trio you know the quintet playing this song yeah. for six for and it's just like that kind of stuff that just makes it that brings it home and brings it to that authenticity and and makes it fun you know because it's like mm -hmm. otherwise it, what what is it you know what i mean you know i wasn't singing very much in in college i sang a little bit i was mostly playing trumpet but then when i got out i started singing a lot in new york and then i started then when i met gaga too when i met steph she hooked me up with her vocal teacher who i've been studying with still to this day um uh, and he, he's taught everybody from he teaches mix mick jagger to christina to bon jovi to gaga and he's just the he, Don Lawrence, he's just a he's an amazing vocal teacher. So, uh, you know, th there's there's all sorts of things that 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 she's been able to to help me well, with. And that's what's interesting about her too is that I think with her theater background, with your theater background, it's um she's a she's someone who really values technique, especially as like a vocal artist. There's a lot of these pop artists now that just don't have the chops that she does. And even looking at someone like you as a musician, like you said, unless you're a YouTube you know, prodigy or whatever that is, the fact that you did get as much training as you did. And now it's all, you know, coming, it's all worth it. Now, you, those years that you put in at CCM and, uh, and your undergrad, it's all, it's all showing the worth. Totally. Like we were talking about earlier, Danny, Dylan, you're absolutely right. It's like, it's like what, it's like being ready for that big game when that big game comes. I'm sorry for the sports analogy, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, that's that, that, that's, I don't know. I think about it like that. It's like, if you're not ready, it's like, it's like showing up to practice or play a game of golf without your clubs. You know what I mean? You need every club, you know, or like you, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it any better, you know? 